Hi. So in this topic or this part of the video, we will look at what are uh, some of the effective habits for crushing cloud certification. Preparing for cloud certification requires certain type of commitment from a time perspective, labor perspective. First thing you should understand is you define your goals. Why do you want to get certified? Does your job want it? Or you may be a newbie and you are looking to build a career in cloud, or you have already worked on cloud and you want to make your CV strong with some advanced certifications. So that covers you have to define your goals, why you are doing it. And once you have defined and you have to define the time period you want to be certified in a month, two months, or so on. First, you assess your own skill or what level of IT competence you have. The next thing we got to do is choose the right certification to align with those goals. For example, if your company wants you to work on a project which is on GCP Cloud, Google Cloud, then do not choose AWS certification. Uh, go for a GCP certification. But if you are just trying to build a skill, then you can go with popular cloud products like AWS or Azure. Uh, GCP is not that popular compared to AWS. Or Third scenario, you are already working on say AWS and you want a multi-cloud skill. Once you have done that, you identify a dedicated study space in your home or uh, if you want to use some time of the office for this, identify a room or identify a cubicle where you can sit without disturbance. This is key because you have to understand the concepts. You have to do a lot of reading, watching videos to understand the concepts. Make your notes because your notes only you can put it in a way which is easier for you to memorize. With memorization, this concept comes into play called spaced repetition. You review your material at one hour, one day, one week or one month so that the review is constantly happening. That reinforces and strengthens your long term memory. Explain the concept to someone. You know those kind of poets. Uh, they write some shairies and they want to someone to listen to that and say that, okay, is it good enough? Or they want to add some more uh, polish to it. Or even stand up comedians, does this punch kick the laughter or they have to get sharper than this? See, time management is crucial. A lot of people, one day they will study for six hours, then one week they don't study. That is not going to help you. Consistency is more important. Do not go for marathon study sessions. Go for consistency, like two hours every day. Some sort of consistency. Your brain is designed that way. You have to give your brain something every day. If you give your brain in one day, 10 hours, you just dump everything. Uh, your brain will not recall a lot of stuff. That is not how brain works. And hands-on lab, needless to say, this is very important. See, a lot of people I see, they just get some question paper, they mug and they even pass. You put them on a project. I am having people who come and we put them on a project and they fail miserably. They have not even seen some screens. So, uh, that is not going to help you even if you are certified. You may not clear interviews. You may not be able to answer real life scenario solutions and so on. So, hands on lab, no replacement. Now, people ask, okay, 
with Udemy, I'm doing some hands-on lab. That is great. But what is important is, you know, you have questions. That question is giving you some scenarios. Take that question and replicate that. So I usually used to do, like when I started the cloud journey in 2018, end of 2018. So around 2019, uh, like mid of 2019, I was done with understanding and hands-on practice of individual components of cloud. After that, I started taking questions and recreating those questions. And then the speed of recreating it, you have like after six months, you, it should become like a cakewalk for you. Your speed should increase. You know, Virat Kohli or any top play, line batsman who bat, they do a lot of practice for different scenarios, different types of bowling combination, fast, slow, spin, and etc. That is how, you, as an IT people, you have to do. You have to keep practicing. In spite of your eight hours work schedule, you should keep something in that week for you to practice. I mean, go on a war with this kind of stuff. Just keep practicing so that the moment you get a chance to crack an interview, talk to a client, you can impress them. And needless to say, mentorship is very important. Either you, you know, in your office, you have some seniors who have done this, uh, you get their guidance or YouTube is something there. We are there. This channel is there. You go through all of those videos. That is a form of mentorship. We are giving all our experience, the way to tackle the questions, understand the options, weed out the wrong options and arrive at the right answers. So Cloud Guru Ninja, if you see on this video the, at the bottom, this, this is our YouTube channel handle. You can subscribe to this channel and you can also become a member. You join for a very small premium, you gain access to so many questions. A cloud kernel or cloud ninja members can gain access to those questions. So stay tuned, stay focused. I hope you understood how to shape up and how to start your cloud journey if you have not yet started. And even if you have started and you want to adopt one or two things from here, feel free to do that. So that was uh, some tip on effective habits for crushing cloud certification. If you have some more best practice, feel free to uh, put it in the comments so that it helps other people. A lot of you may are associated with this channel, cleared some certifications. You may have your own best practice, uh, own habits. Please feel free to put down a note in the comments so that others can you know, learn from it.